Well, parents are lining up at the West Ada School District office to opt their kids out of the new district's mask mandate. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Jake Garcia. This despite shockingly high numbers of the coronavirus Delta variant in kids and the fact that kids under 12 are not eligible yet for protection of the vaccine. And as Roland Barris reports, the district says it's just following the expert advice of the medical community, which is ringing the alarm. Contentious debate and a compromise on a mask rule has led to this. Huge lines of angry parents. It's a ridiculous usurpation and we're sick of our children being taught to be prisoners. The school district decided to make masks mandatory with the option for an opt out for the new school year to protect kids, many of whom have no other protection against the virus. I think we can't always focus on what makes everyone happy. Our, our goal is to keep uh, kids in person learning five days a week. So that's what we focus on. How can we safely keep them learning every day in school? The district listened to the medical experts who say the old days of kids having more immunity are gone. I will tell you that anyone who will listen has heard this same message from Jim and from me that we think that masking is the best option currently given the infectivity of the virus. According to the American Academy of Pediatrics, nearly 180,000 kids got the variant nationwide last week alone, a fourfold increase from just three weeks earlier, and school hasn't even started in many areas. And it's clear that many parents who testified before the school board are concerned for their kids' safety without a mask mandate. Masks aren't a perfect answer. I agree with that. I don't like them either. But we're better off with them than without them. But there seems to be no convincing these parents that everyone should be masked. I think they really need to be in school. They need to be around their peers and they need to be able to interact normally and see facial cues. The district says it will revisit the mask policy frequently. Roland Barris, Idaho News 6. And the district says if you want to opt out, you must do so in person because an ID is required. And even if your child is fully vaccinated, if they want to opt out, they must sign the waiver.